over 50% of a customer experience is about how you feel. We buy emotionally and then we justify with logic. It's about the value comes in the experience. What we've discovered is that all organizations have an emotional signature. So how am I feeling? Voting on the cards? We'd be wrong to use the same sort of techniques in looking at productivity. Is your customer experience deliberate? Is not just the nice to have, this makes business sense. Do you mean to do it? I like getting amongst the audience and asking them lots and lots of questions to get their brains ticking over. It's to add humour to the presentation. Because if you can add humour, it becomes more memorable, people enjoy it more. You're already ahead of me, aren't you? <laughs> I've had, you know, 30 years of experience in business and seeing how business tick. Whether it's customer experience, customer loyalty, customer retention, customer acquisition. At the end of the day, you've got to actually get across a serious business message. What is the customer experience that you're trying to deliver? And within that, what are the emotions that you're trying to evoke? It's, it's not just the strategy, the but the action. That is far more powerful than just talking about it. When we do the calls, I would ask you just to be quiet. Because they don't believe the audacity uh, of actually making a live call in front of 50, 400,000. One of the reasons I love doing this is just to make a change. To be able to motivate them and inspire them to go and do something different. Thought I thought it was very interesting. I think absolutely, it was common sense. We'll try and put ourselves in the customer's mind. And I think it's the simplicity that, is, that makes it so powerful.